So I saw the press info for Fury Unleashed and it had me intrigued, but also skeptical. It said it was a roguelike, combining inspiration from modern roguelike platformers like Dead Cells and Rogue Legacy with nostalgic memories of old school platformer shooters like Contra and Metal Slug. They're naming some of the games I love here, so I was very curious to play it. And actually, it's really good. I mean really, really good. It really does combine various aspects of the games named and molds them into something so addictive and fun. The story is really interesting. You control a character in a comic book whose author is struggling with writing. As you complete levels, you get hints as to what's going on with him. It's a really interesting setup. Each screen is a panel from a comic and the graphics and menus are styled to be part of that comic. The execution was well done. I need to mention though that I haven't finished Fury Unleashed yet. It took me more than a year to eventually finish Dead Cells and I still haven't beaten Rogue Legacy. I played Fury Unleashed for over 10 hours, but like many roguelikes, it's damn hard. So I can't comment on the ending or the outcome of the story. So I'll mainly talk about the gameplay. You control Fury by jumping, shooting, dashing and slicing enemies with your sword. The controls feel natural and are very easy to learn, especially if you played other 2D action games. You basically need to make it to the end of each level by passing through screens that represent comic book panels. There are loads of enemies and when you kill them, they drop ink. As you gain ink, you level up and gain skill points. When you die, and you will die, a lot, you can upgrade your character similar to Rogue Legacy's upgrade system. That's all pretty straightforward, but there are so many secrets to uncover and new items and weapons to find. There are random challenge screens that task you with killing enemies quickly or with melee attacks only for example or making your way through a tricky screen with obstacles without taking damage. There is a lot of variety to what you'll be doing and the different challenges and layouts of the screen mean you'll constantly be kept on your toes and forced to change up your playstyle. You'll encounter various bosses during your playthrough. I found the difficulty really depended on the gun I had. It's hard to avoid damage as some of the screens become like bullet hell shooters. But if you have a powerful gun, I found I could take them out quite quickly. I managed to beat three bosses and the final boss of the first campaign thanks to a very powerful RPG launcher that absolutely destroyed their health. But when I went to the same boss with a machine gun, I had to try and survive much longer because the gun did a lot less damage. Speaking of guns, the sound effects were great. It just adds to the feeling of satisfaction in taking down a tough screen of enemies. There are three campaigns. The first is a jungle with undead Aztec warriors. The second is an underground Nazi base. And the third is full of skeleton aliens. I like the jungle environment the most. It was more colorful and just more interesting. Whereas the army base and alien environment looks similar with a different color palette. Since each level is played out like panels of a comic, to complete the map you'd need to backtrack, except the game has a clever fast travel system where you can travel back to a previous room, but you can only do this four times. So it does save backtracking, but it's a good balance to avoid spamming it. It's a well executed system that's hard to explain, but when you start using it you realize how helpful it is. It's also a great example of the devs respecting the player's time and not forcing loads of backtracking. Overall, Fury Unleashed is just brilliant. It's clear to see how it's been inspired by other games, but it combines the mechanics and gameplay of these other titles and makes something that feels fresh, fun and addictive. If you're looking for another roguelike to sink dozens of hours into, then you won't go wrong with Fury Unleashed. So guys, are you planning to pick up Fury Unleashed? And if you played it already, what did you think? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.